One of the most famous events in the history of Dallas was the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States. President Kennedy was assassinated here on Friday, November 22, 1963, at approximately 12.30 p.m. He was shot in Dealey Plaza while riding in his motorcade with his wife and gov the governor at the time of Texas and his wife, Mr. and Mrs. Connolly. When riding in the motorcade, Lee Harvey Oswald reportedly shot President Kennedy from the sixth floor of the, at the time, book depository of Dallas. The building has since been changed into an administrative building and also serves as a museum on the sixth floor. The place where the president was shot is still indicated on the road by a large X. Ironically, the last words that President Kennedy ever heard were from the First Lady of Texas, Mrs. Nellie Connolly, as she turned to President Kennedy and said, Mr. President, you can't say Dallas doesn't love you, which the president acknowledged. The culprit of the assassination is suspected to be Lee Harvey Oswald, but it's never been confirmed that he was for sure the killer or the only killer at the during the scene. Events around the Kennedy assassination have been one of the more controversial stories in modern times. Many people who believe in conspiracy theories speculate many different ideas about the assassination. They believe that Anything happened from other gunmen being involved to the, our own government to Fidel Castro killing the president. The official report from the U.S. Senate believes that Lee Harvey Oswald was the official killer and that no one else was involved. This seems to be collaborated by the percentage of eyewitnesses who believe they only heard two shots from the direction that Lee Harvey Oswald was in. The Grassy Knoll is a famous tourist spot and one of the most popular areas in Dallas for visiting tourists. The death of the president greatly affected the nation and the effects can still be seen today.